channel. I hope you guys are all doing good. Today we're doing a bit of a switch up from the normal type of videos I do. Obviously, if you have come to my channel before, you know that I do a lot of Squishmallow videos and Squishmallow hunting. Um, but I did move out recently, so I did want to expand my horizons and do some house videos like house organization, room decor, stuff like that. Um, I am still going to be filming my updated Squishmallow organization video slash like do my room with me but um, I'm still waiting on a piece of furniture to be built in my room so I couldn't do that one today but I am going to do kind of a pantry organization slash finalization. Um, it is pretty organized right now as soon as I moved in I tried to make sure to get it in tip top shape. But there's some things that aren't really that functional or working for me and I'm trying to better organize them so I thought I would film it on camera with you guys and you can kind of just chill with me today while I go through that. And yeah, I also wanted to show you guys just overall how I did. <clears throat> oh my god how I did organize my pantry just because I don't know I know I love personally watching these type of videos so I thought it would be fun to share for you guys as well and while you guys are here just quickly press subscribe it's free it doesn't do anything to you guys but it helps me out a lot so and then I mean it'll also like put my videos you know on your subscription page so instead of just waiting to see them in recommended you guys can just have them there all right guys, so how my pantry is set up, this is my dining table, ignore all my filming gear there. And then it's kind of like the foyer slash kitchen over there, it's a little messy right now. But anyways, this door here is where my pantry is. And I'll show you guys what is going on right now. Let me quickly turn on the light. So this is what my pantry currently looks like. It's not, you know, unorganized by any means, but there are some things I need to find spots for, like those things. Just some stuff I wish had better flow, especially with those baskets and stuff, especially like those ones. Um, I have some random stuff down there. I have, I think, more wine bottles there that I've gotten from people since moving in. And yeah, so just that stuff I'm really looking to organize. There's this as well, that I have this cart and I don't know I just I need better flow right now because it's not working for me I also have these really cute boxes I want to utilize from Home Depot if you're in Canada they're kind of like a plasticky material instead of actual wood so it's nice you can wipe them down if something ever spills and like it won't get all gross and stuff just because I've noticed even with like I don't know I feel like some of my other wood stuff I have if stuff gets on it it's really annoying to clean but that one is good because I can just quickly wipe it off and yeah so I'm going to get into organizing right now all right so I'm just gonna kind of take out some things like this little this thing I have I'm gonna just move it out here so I have more room to kind of work with everything else in here um yeah, because I have a lot of random stuff in here that I really need to clear out that I haven't done yet. So I think I'm also going to just quickly vacuum in there just because it's kind of gross. There's like crumbs already that accumulated in the month that I've been working with the pantry. So I'm going to quickly do that and I'll be back. Okay, so now I think I'm going to take these white bins out and make room so I can do these foldable um, plasticky ones. I also love those ones because they're bigger so they will cover more space in between the shelves. So stuff like, you know, the rice and chicken broth and whatever, it's not going to be popping out like that and it'll just look a lot more sleek hopefully. Um, so yeah, we'll give that a try and see how it goes. Okay, so they're currently out. I'm going to be popping down these boxes. If you guys can see if they pop down properly. Okay, there we go. So that's locked in all good now. And oh my God, these are so cute. I actually love these. I couldn't believe when I saw them at Home Depot, like of all places, so random for them to have cute organization stuff. And they were only $9, which is not that bad because if you like take into consideration something like Home Goods or Walmart even or Target, I feel like these things are always at least in like the $15 range, at least where I'm from. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. 
They're too hard to rip. Oh, there we go. Can we tilt you guys down? Yeah, I think so, right? Cool. So you guys can see this. I'm just gonna be taking everything and oh my gosh, thank God it fits. I was a little worried about that box. It actually fits perfectly, so that's awesome. Um, I have just like some extra plastic wrap, things like that, some extra spaghetti in here. I have an extra bag of chia seeds I keep in here, um, some extra brown sugar in case I run out. I bought some, um, some extra pasta I have. Just a lot of things that um, I would like usually refill, I'm gonna keep in this box. Poopy sacks for my cat's litter, um, but they're clean so it's okay, I'll put them in the food here. And I'm gonna check if there's anything else in the pantry. You know what, I found two other things that I will um, refill eventually, so I'll keep them in there because they're on the shelf, which is just some decaf instant coffee, and then some pink Himalayan salt that I will also just sneak in here. Okay, so I think that's enough for now if you guys can see in there, and I'll just put that away and let's see how it looks. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but I love that right now. I think it looks so much better. I'll show you guys a close up after I'm done with everything, but I already love that way more than having um, the three smaller white plastic bins in there. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the other three boxes, just kind of on a more sped up note, I guess, and you guys can just watch me quickly do it, and yeah. So this is just some chicken broth. I think I'm gonna put drink type things in here because I have some extra Kazo chai tea concentrate. Um, so I think it would make the most sense right now to just keep it for drinks in here. And yeah, I was looking for a place to put all my wine bottles and stuff anyway, so I think that's perfect. I have some boba bubble teas, um, tapioca, brown sugar, and I'm just gonna sneak in some wines and stuff like that. So I think in this one, I decided uh, I'm gonna just put my little griddle thing in here and the plates that come with it because that was a really big annoyance in my pantry because I didn't have like a proper spot for all this stuff. I think that's actually a good fit because I really needed a space for all this and there isn't enough room to have this on the ground. Um, so I'm gonna go with this for now. So here pretty much I was just taking care of the Tupperware that's on my top shelf. Um, I wanted to leave it in these bins just so I can kind of see what's up there and have it be really accessible. So I just kind of organized them by groups and put them up there. Um, I also took away some containers there that weren't really serving me any purposes and yeah. So now I'm going to organize this a bit. Um, there's some chips, some random stuff here, rice cakes, whatever. Um, so. I'm going to attempt to make it look more cute and yeah. I think what I'm going to go for is like crackers, chips type things up here and then down below we'll do like uh, sweets type things but we'll see how that goes because it might not 100% be enough room but we'll see. All right guys, so even though I didn't do anything crazy to it, oh, Boba's there, Boba say hi to YouTube. <laughs> That's my cat, Boba. He's inspecting the new pantry. Anyways, um, even though it isn't a crazy change, I think it looks so much better personally. So this is it now after organizing a bit more. I think it looks a lot better, especially the bottom shelf. Um, I got everything out of the way where he's standing it's honestly like completely more functional to me now anyways and yeah i'll do like a little pan over so you guys can see everything and add some cute little music yeah so down there i have his cat food and all of his little treats i have his cat food in like a bigger container here um so with a scoop and everything and i needed this for the top shelf so i just kept his food on top of that to not waste like more floor space down there i just have some random marshmallows protein powder some extra garlic random snacks 
Up here is kind of like the crackers slash chip area, um, slash like salty snacks, like little olive packs. And then like you guys saw down here, I have all my little extra um, refills of stuff. Then we have all of my drinks down here. Um, these are all like pretty much things I got from people I feel like from housewarming and stuff. Some bubble tea, some extra chicken stock and Tazo chai tea concentrate so I don't spend my entire life paycheck at Starbucks. This is the little griddle slash um, like waffle maker thing. It was on the floor before, which I did like, but it wasn't very practical and I felt like it was collecting more dust down there. So I did put it in the box and I really like how that came out. Down here, this, I feel like I need to get another container of this still, but that is like random stuff, some taco stuff, mac and cheese stuff, um, like random jarred sauces and pizza sauce, whatever. That is our cereal bin. Um, I'm looking into getting some other cereal containers, but for now it will do. This is like some smoothie powders and stuff like that and some more cereal, that's my cereal. Um, this is my boyfriend's. And then we have some extra reg washcloth stuff. And then here I have all of my Cricut containers. These were from Ikea. These were from HomeSense or HomeGood, whatever you have in your area. This is all of like little things like some matcha strawberry packets, hot chocolate, some sauce gravy mixes, um, some little cake pop sticks for a Halloween thing I'm gonna do, um, flaky salt, just some random things in there. And then underneath here, I have my little tea box that I think is really cute and I like it a lot. Then here I have a Lazy Susan. It just makes accessing stuff, it's too close to the wall. It makes accessing stuff way easier and I don't have to like, you know, dig through a pile of stuff to find it. Then I have an extra spice rack for spices I don't use every day. And then some cinnamon sticks back here. But I got this from Dollarama, which I really, really liked. These Cricut ones that I made, these are also the original containers are from Ikea. Um, these ones here, I have them on like a raised spice shelf. Honestly, this was originally for spices, but I think I like it better with this stuff on it. Um, these ones were all from Dollarama this size, which is crazy, but I did find them and I think they still are in stock because I've seen them semi-recently. And then up here, I have these containers from Dollarama and I have like a random Easter decoration thing in there, but I think it looks cute, so I kind of keep it. And then I have some smoothie coconut bowl things in there if you guys can see. I have all of my Tupperware that I keep out of the way up there. And then I have some extra utensils, um, some other Tupperware and some like clips to keep like bags closed like these ones. So yeah, this is my little pantry organization video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know it's not perfect and some people might not, you know, think this is super organized, but other people might think this is OCD organized. So I really like it. Um, I still am looking to add some more stuff. I think some more shelving um, things would be cool in there eventually. But honestly, right now, I feel like I don't even need them that much. So this is good enough for me right now. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Let me know down below again if you like this style of vlogging and just organizational videos for houses. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.